briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1973, the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit heard the case of Senate v. Rodman and Renshaw, which focused on the concept of vicarious liability, holding one party responsible for the actions of another. The case involved a securities brokerage house, Rodman and Renshaw, which was sued for fraudulent actions committed by their former associate, Jordan Rothbart. Jordan Rothbart tricked Richard Sennett into purchasing stock options in a fake company and used the money to pay off his own trading losses. When Sennett complained to the brokerage firm, they were blamed for the fraud despite being unaware of Rothbart's illegal actions. The district court found Rodman and Renshaw vicariously liable for Rothbart's actions and awarded Sennett damages of $99,600 plus pre-judgment interest. Both Rothbart and his father, a partner at the firm, were also held accountable. Rodman and Renshaw appealed the decision, and the Court of Appeals ultimately reversed the previous judgment. The court ruled that brokers were not liable for fraud in this situation and dismissed the complaint against Rodman and Renshaw, ultimately entering judgment in their favor. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.